The conflict between Ukraine and Russia has been a catalyst for technological advancements in weaponry. The intense fighting in the region has led to the development and implementation of new weapons aimed at providing an edge on the battlefield. In relation to this, a new generation of autonomous machines, referred to as killer robots, is making its debut in Ukraine. These machines signal a new military era and offer abilities that far surpass the current generation of weaponries and are not restricted to drones in the air or sea. In this video, we will discuss how the conflict has spurred innovation in the arms industry in general and look at some of the significant weapons, such as marker combat robot, to emerge from the conflict in Ukraine. But the question is, how effective is actually the weapon? If you eager to know more about this killer robot, stay tuned and watch the video till the end. Just as Germany and the U.S. have announced plans to send Leopard and Abrams tanks to Volodymyr Zelensky's forces, Russia has unveiled a terrifying new weapon called a killer robot. The first batch of marker combat robots arrived in Ukraine days after Russian former space boss Dmitry Rogozin wrote on his Telegram channel that the combat robot would undergo a baptism of fire on the battlefields in eastern Ukraine. The marker is an unmanned ground vehicle, or also known as UGV, which resembles a tank in appearance, if not in weapons. It also features a tracked platform like a tank that could be equipped with an array of sensors and weapons. Among these are a drone launching casing and a turret with machine guns and anti-tank missiles. However, unlike a regular tank, it can automatically detect and target enemies with guided missiles using a range of smart sensors and robotics. The Marker Robot Combat Vehicle was jointly developed by the Android Technique Company and the Advanced Research Foundation. Weighing over three tons, it boasts Russia's most advanced object recognition and autonomous movement technology. Last month, Russia announced that the development of the experimental marker was completed. The purpose of the robot is to serve as a test platform for the latest technology for second-generation combat robots, which are still in the early stages of development. The marker is equipped with a state-of-the-art weapon system and a suspended unmanned aerial vehicle, and it has the ability to navigate any terrain autonomously. Its independence is ensured by a modular multispectral vision system that uses neural network techniques to process data. Moreover, the marker robot has the capability to independently prioritize targets. If it detects several targets at one time, for example a T-64 tank, some foreign equipment on the front line, and an armored personnel carrier, the robot will choose the most important target based on priority and attack it with the appropriate firepower. On top of that, it can rotate 360 degrees in one second and can be equipped with grenade launchers, several anti-tank missile systems, heavy machine guns, and other weapons. Furthermore, there are two versions of Marker, the Scout and Anti-Tank Missile. The Scout version, which is designed for reconnaissance purposes, is equipped with sensors and a drone, while the Anti-Tank Missile Arm model is touted as a counter to Leopard and Abrams tanks. On February 2, former Roscosmos chief and head of the Special Military Advisory Group, SARS Wolves, Dmitry Rogozin announced on his Telegram channel that four marker robotic platforms have arrived in the Donbas region in the eastern Ukraine district. He claimed the robots would be hunters of Leopards, the German-made tanks soon to be sent by Ukraine's allies that have them in their arsenals, and deployed by Ukraine. The UK is also sending Challenger 2 tanks, while the US is sending Abrams. Rogozin also said that experts have begun testing algorithms for conducting warfare within a group of combat robots. Last month, Rogozin made a statement announcing that marker combat robots would undergo testing in the special military operation in Ukraine. The first four marker robots have arrived in the region strictly on schedule. We begin downloading target images and testing algorithms of warfare within a unit of combat robots and installing powerful anti-tank armament, Rogozin said.
The marker vehicles were apparently never designed for combat, but were meant as a way to test futuristic tools and technologies. It remains unclear how effective they will be in battle, or if they can operate more than several miles from their controller. By sending them into battle, it will mark a major escalation of the use of robotics in a war. Russian robotics boss Oleg Marchinov told Sputnik that the marker vehicles are highly accurate and can hit flying discs from a Kalashnikov machine gun many times faster than people do. The marker robots have been jointly developed by Russia's Advanced Research Foundation and the Android Naya Technica Science and Production Association. In the past week, Western powers including U.S. and Germany have approved sending more than 100 main battle tanks to Ukraine, a move that Russia has warned crosses a dangerous new line in the conflict. It was also reported yesterday that the U.S. was preparing a more than $2 billion package of military aid, including the delivery of long-range missiles. However, the U.S. and the U.K. have for now rebuffed Kyiv's request for fighter jets, amid fears that it could lead to Russia escalating the war even further. We need arms to counter the enemy, Reznikov said. Despite its powerful capabilities, the development of this autonomous robot has sparked debate among countries. The questions are, what will the world do about autonomous weapons and what should it do? The answer to the first question is clear, probably nothing. International norms on autonomous weapons are still developing, and major countries including the U.S. have opposed them. Even if there were widely accepted norms, there may not be much that can be done, as Russia is already under severe sanctions for its actions in Ukraine. The U.S. and its allies also have no appetite for direct military intervention in the conflict. However, the use of mortar combat robot by Russia adds urgency to global discussions on autonomous weapons. As the world continues to move towards a future dominated by technology, it is imperative that we act proactively and responsibly to ensure that these advancements are used for the betterment of humanity. Finally, the arrival of autonomous killer robots in Ukraine heralds a new military era with capabilities surpassing current weapons, bringing new challenges, lethality, and concerns. Will artificial intelligence and war robots play a role in the next phase of the conflict in Ukraine. So, what do you think? Don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments below.